Welcome to Destination Everywhere, where Mandy, Orlando, and doing nothing to help in the back seat is Abraham, our great Pyrenees. We're painting a canvas of Kansas, the sunflower state, and taking you inside the frame to the very center of the United States between Nebraska and Oklahoma, focusing on Lewis, Dodge, Greensburg, Hutchinson, and Wichita. Kansas is much more than cornfields, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, and tornadoes. It has giant pyramids, the wicked whiskey town of Dodge, and the world's largest, well, we get to play astronauts and spy planes at the famous Space Museum in Hutchinson before our final stop in Wichita. Move over, Abraham. I think we have a full tour today. Just off Interstate 83, at the end of this dirt road, there's something so surprising. There's a national landmark in the middle of a prairie. Monument rocks, known locally as the Chalk Pyramids. These crumbly limestone rocks are 70 feet tall and 80 million years old. How majestic are they? From chalk to cows? In a state famous for producing beef and wheat, fields of gold and grain elevators at the side of the road are a more common sight. As we head east to the city of Dodge, a town born of a barrel of whiskey. Its most popular attraction is the Boot Hill Museum, which tells the history of this boom and bust cow town. It started with Native Americans and literally millions of buffalo. Enter the white settlers and the railroad bringing buffalo hunters who killed 3,000 buffalo per day for sport and their hides and bones. So the city of Dodge stank of rotting carcasses. Pile on top of that, the bars, drunken brawling in the streets, a thriving red light district of dance halls with brothels in the back, and Dodge earned its name Hell on the Plains for its booze and lawlessness. Anyone ever heard of these guys, Wyatt Earp? They became the law, the peacekeepers, Dodge's first cops. The Boot Hill Museum continues outside with its interactive recreation of the Old West. There's a gun shop, a jail, a restaurant and an ice cream parlor, and of course, a saloon with entertainment. Wait, did anyone see that wanted poster? Abraham, what are you doing in the county jail? What did you do? That's a guilty face if ever I saw one. But let's bust you out of here and get the hell out of Dodge, as they say. Well, well, here we are at the Big Well, a museum showcasing three things. The well, the tornado, and a green town. First, let's go 109 feet down the well and make a wish at the bottom. The well was built in 1887 as the town's main water supply and is the world's largest hand-dug well. The tornado part of the museum is in remembrance of the famous tornado of 2007, which registered Category 5 on the Fujita scale. It completely devastated the town, but when Greensburg rebuilt, the pioneering community built it sustainable and renewable, the greenest town in America. Hutchinson, Kansas has the most amazing must-visit space museum. Today we're in the Cosmosphere and we're going to learn more about space and rockets and this massive thing here. And this massive thing was so big that they actually had to build the museum around it. This is so cool. It's the SR-71 Blackbird, and it's a spy plane. It flew 2,000 miles an hour. It is huge. It 
It seemed like Abraham was really interested in the space program, especially the Apollo 2 mission to the moon. Abraham, do you know who was the first person to walk on the moon? Oh, I know this. Neil Armstrong. Did you see the rock he brought back from space? A rock from the moon? Let me have a look! Let me have a look! And did you know that there were dogs in space too? This is the story of how this doggy, Laika, went up in Sputnik 2 in 1957. There she is. Poor little girl never came back. But guess what? Two years later, America sent two chimps from Kansas into space. Really? And they survived. The Cosmosphere was lots of fun, but we were most amused by the display of astronaut underpants. I guess people just really want to know. After the museum, it was time for refreshments, and we found a great brewery to sample some Kansas beer. And the resident pooch was just adorable. Here we are at the Salt City Brewing Company, and this time I have seven. I'm very generous here. So I partook of the pineapple tart, whew, an amber ale, an American brown, and the Artist Guild. Ah, that was really soapy. Better try again with an Irish stout, a cherrywood blonde, ooh, yes, I like that, and an IPA. So this one's my favorite. So I'm just gonna down this. Cheers, welcome to Kansas. And for the last stop of this trip, we head south. In Wichita, where two rivers meet, is the city's most iconic tourist attraction, a 44-foot steel sculpture called the Keeper of the Plains, the work of Black Bear Bosin, a Native American artist. And on the other side of the bridge, there's more to see at Keeper Plaza. What's over there, Abraham? There's murals and music coming out of the walls. <laughs> there certainly is, and it's telling the story of the Plains Indians, the Wichita tribe who used to live here. There's beautiful music playing, flutes and chimes, and it's all very relaxing and spiritual, honoring the native people of Kansas. And right next door is the Mid-America All Indian Center, a museum dedicated to American Indian culture. But right now, Abraham needs a walk, so we're off to Riverside Park. It's got splash parks and a mini zoo exhibiting the wildlife of Kansas, like bobcats and birds, and the state reptile, the ornate box turtle. Abraham doesn't quite know what to think. Our last stop in Wichita was downtown, and walking around, we stumbled on a few surprises. Just off Broadway here is the Lewis Reflection Park. There's nobody here. It's really unassuming. But look how cute. And look at this. We found out that these beautiful bronze sculptures were created to remember, to reflect on the anti-segregation sit-in at the lunch counter of Dockham's Drugstore in 1957. Hence the name Lewis Reflection Park. And from a bit of history to a bit of art across the street in Gallery Alley, a rainbow cobbled alleyway featuring some free public art. And on that quirky note, it's time to kiss goodbye to Wichita. So thanks for letting us share the world with the world and we'll see you in the next Kansas video.